What's up guys, Shane here from Figure Deck 3D Printing and today we're checking out the November 2018 MakerBox. Welcome back guys. So, it is the best time of the month. It is time to do the MakerBox. Again, this is November 2018 and there's a little bit of a change this month as they have changed the box. This was kind of the beta box and it actually had, I have a few other ones here for upcoming months and this one is a little different. So the old box was this right here and it was this shiny black that they did and it's exactly, actually not even the same size, a little bit bigger. This doesn't really matter but for anyone that is familiar with the Maker Box and has been following along with them, you'll notice the change. And I apparently think it made some other changes, but we're going to find out once we actually cut into this. Now, if you're not familiar with the Maker Box, I'll give you a quick synopsis of what it is. It is a subscription service for sample samples of filament, so test samples. They come in 16 meters, roughly 50, well, I think it's 50 grams, which is roughly 16 meters. And they also have a bonus spool in there. The fourth one is a longer one, usually a PLA, and that is 20 meters. And that gives you a little bit more to print with if you want to try it out. Now, the MakerBox in its current form is for $28 a month, uh, give or take a little bit. It depends on like shipping and where it is and things, and things like that where you are. I know they're changing some shipping prices uh, pretty soon here. And that's just the nature of the beast when you have to ship things. But again, it's a subscription box that you can get monthly or bi-monthly. Most people who get the overseas boxes get it on a bi-monthly basis. Most people in the US get it on monthly because it's like 50 cents for shipping, so it's really not that bad. Uh, but yeah, it comes to you monthly and it's you never know what you're gonna get. You know, like a box of chocolate. Good old Forrest Gump there. But let's see what came in the November box. So first up, we have a US monofilaments sticker. We have a Fun King 3D sticker, so free plug for you, Mr. Fun King. Uh, I have a 3D printer, What's Your Superpower? It is a MakerBox sticker, that's a pretty fun sticker right there. And we have some Harbio gummy bears, good deal. And then here we have a card. So here on the card, there are discount codes for all the filaments that you receive on their website. So there's a little code on here when you subscribe to the box, and you can get upwards of 25% off. I haven't seen I say 25%, I've never seen more than that, but 25% off of a full a spool of filament isn't too bad, especially like Protopasta, Ninja Tech. Um, some of those other ones are pretty expensive, so it, it's nice to get that little bit of a discount. Um, so, new options. Now, coming up, they are splitting how they're doing make, maker box, and they're going into three different boxes. So, they're gonna be, this plan right here, it's gonna be called the Explorer plan. It will remain $20. A new plan will be added called the Easy Plan, which will be easy to print materials, mostly PLA based materials, and that's going to be $16 a month. And then the next new option is going to be the Everything Plan, which is going to be the Easy Plan and the Explorer Box all together for $30. That's not too bad. And if you use the link and the code down below, you get 20, you get foot 15% off your first month's box, which is a pretty good deal. So definitely check that out. Uh, they tell you what you want to print. They have certain layers a lot that they recommend. I do my coin. And the referral program, again, if you use the discount code in the link down below, you can get the discount. And after three people subscribe to the Maker Box, I get a free box, which I greatly appreciate. Most of these are covered nowadays. A lot of people use that. I'm really happy to see that. So we're a little bit, a few minutes into this, haven't really got too much yet, but kind of explaining a lot of that. There's a lot of change in Maker Box. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, and of course I said need a Ninja Tech. Here we have a uh, sample of Cheetah, which is, Cheetah is there, it's a little bit uh, more uh, rigid than some of their other, uh, so Cheetah is able to print faster. That's kind of the whole reason for it there. Uh, let's see, so the hot end temperature, 230 to 240. Bed temperature, room to 40 C. Speed, 30 to 45 millimeters a second. So that's, that's that Cheetah speed right there for flexible filaments, fan 100%. Glue stick or blue tape, do not print on PEI without coating. That is absolutely correct. If you print on a PEI sheet, you are going to rip the PEI off your bed. The way, because how hot and how tacky flexible filament is, when it sticks to PEI, it's there for good. 
So just put a quick layer of glue stick down. Doesn't be a lot, just a layer of glue stick. That way once it cools down, you're able to get your little uh, print removal tool, your little spatula under there and pry that off very easily. So do remember to do that. There is a whole bunch of information on here I'm not gonna go through. So yeah, it's cheetah filament, it's blue, we'll get it printed. Okay, here we have some PLA high heat in maroon from US monofilaments. So yeah, I made a sticker here. So I actually just did a review on this filament and I have a spool of it up top that I'm gonna be using for a project. And so I'm gonna be happy to see, I mean, I know this stuff prints well, but it'll be nice to see this color, this maroon. It's a very, very deep red. Uh, I got that kind of brown hint to it as well. Like, like dark clay, put it that way. All right, hot temperature, 190 to 230, big range, do a temp tower, you guys can know then. The bed is room to 50C, speed 30 to 70, fan 100% because it's PLA, the more cooling, the better you are. So this is the 50% extra. So this one is the extra, I'm sorry, it wasn't, I said 20 meters before. This one is roughly 24 meters long. So you get a lot more uh, for your bang, I guess, because they started doing that a couple months ago. I like it, you definitely get a lot more for it. So if you wanted to print something larger with the sample, you can do that. All right, so Fiber Force Italy, they have, this is their Fiber X Co-Polyester White. I haven't printed one from them in a while. They have sent them before though. Let's see, hot on temperature, 230 to 240C. The bed is room to 70. Do use glued stick, okay. And speed, 65 to 75 millimeters a second. Fusion X is a filament that combines the functionality of ABS with strong resistance durability for fantastic results. It's extremely easy to print with excellent adhesion, no smell, and no warping. So I will need to see if you're supposed to use a cooling fan because this was on their older um, stickers which don't have the fan or other information that these other ones have. So this is probably one that they've had for a while and just haven't put it in a box. That's why it's the old sticker format. Either way, I'll look it online real quick and I'll let you guys know. All right, atomic filament. We have a carbon fiber extreme black PETG. I have never printed a PETG carbon fiber. I think I have, yeah. I printed PLAs, but never PETG. This will be fun. So hot in temperature, 240 to 265. Bed temperature 60 to 74 C. That is very exact right there. Speed not listed, fan low or off, at standard for PETG. And other, maybe abrasive, consider hard nozzle. It's carbon fiber, it is abrasive, please use a hardened nozzle. Go to Micro Swiss, I'll put a link to them down below. It's not affiliate, I don't have any discount codes, but it's worth picking it up. I just bought, I think four, they had a back in or earlier for November, they had the Cyber Monday deal at 30% off their nozzles. So they do go on sale. It's a good thing to look out for them. And I bought another four nozzles for several of my printers here. So uh, definitely get a hard nozzle. You'll thank me in the long run. And if you're gonna be keeping with the Explorer box, you're gonna need something like that. If you're gonna go with the easy box, you don't need to worry about that. But again, depending on what you want to do and how into this you wanna get, especially in 3D printing, you may wanna consider that hard nozzle. A uh, whole bunch of stuff. It's PETG blend with a carbon fiber fill, prints deep black, slightly textured surface, no transparency. So, yeah, let's get all these on some printers and see how they turn out. All right, so the prints are in and they're pretty amazing. But I want to talk about one thing first, and that is the spools that I use in order to print MakerBox samples. The comment comes up every now and then. I So for almost my first two years of doing Maker Boxes, almost every month I would test out a new spool. And I went through lots of different ones to see which would be the best. Now, this is actually made by the same person, two different variations. This is his first version here, where it's a very simple twist and pull it off. It just has three uh, teeth there on the middle that just fit into one side of the slot that's bigger. You twist it, it locks onto the smaller side of the slot and it works out. And this one works out really, really well and I still use, I actually have another one of these on the shelf that I use all the time. And this is his newer version here, which is more of a uh, twist design, a screw design. And this is a little bit better just because it kind of has a little bit of a bevel here and it lets the filament sit down in there and these fit perfectly to the MakerBox samples. So I will put a link down in the video description for both of these. So whichever gun you guys want to use, you can. And at least now you know what I use when I print my samples. All right, that being said, let's talk about the filament. So everything again came out pretty good. I printed everything on the Prusa i3 Mark III original. I didn't print anything on my clone this time, but I did have to print the carbon fiber PETG on the CR10S. 
because that has an all metal hot end and an all metal nozzle from Micro Swiss. Both of those parts actually from Micro Swiss on that printer. So if you're gonna print anything abrasive like a glow in the dark or a carbon fiber filled, it's abrasive, get yourself an all metal setup and you'll be able to do that. So now let's take a closer look at the prints and see how they turned out. All right, well first up here we have the PLA High Heat Maroon color from US Monofilaments. It's very maroon color. As you can see, it looks almost flawless. It has a very nice shine to it. Everything filled in really nice. There were no under extrusions or over extrusions anywhere that I noticed. Bottom layers on the regular PEI, the PEI power coated one, or actually this is the PEI sheets. It peels off, gives that nice dull finish in this one. Sometimes it comes out shiny, but this has a little bit of glue on it, so it kind of gave it more of a dull finish. But if you look in at the supports, they are pretty good. So that's the area right there that went over the supports. As you can see, it looks filled in very nicely on every one of those. And it came out really, really, really easy. Like I can't in, in, uh, say as, as much how easily that filament came out. The only thing that was kind of a little finicky on this was the cooling. So I think that the i3 Mark III wasn't cooling here in the beginning because I have it set kind of to the default. You kind of see how there's like this like dip here in this and that's improper cooling. So that I think I'm gonna blame on the printer just because everything else on this came out so nicely. All right, and now here is the Fiber X Copolyester White from Fiber Force Italy. Again, this came out really, really good. This is like their combination between like an ABS. So like it's supposed to be like strong as ABS, but no warping or anything like that. This is printed regular in my room on the i3 Mark III. And yeah, it came out really nice. It has a very odd feel to it. Like it is plastic, but I don't know. There's just this extra little property in there that I can't quite place what it is. It just feels a little bit different to me, but it looks gorgeous. It's a pretty good color. And over where the supports were, all of that came out really well. Now looking underneath, nice flat layers, really good for, let's look underneath, really good first layer on there. A little hard to see kind of where the support was in there, but that also came out very well. It filled in really nice over those. And this was printed, it says not to use the fan on this one, or I guess it, it didn't really say to, but I didn't because I used kind of ABS settings for it. And there was a little bit of deformation down on these first layers. So you can see the support where that went. It looks really, really nice. It's a little hard to focus on the white with the white background there. But you can see, yeah, that all came out really nice. And the deformations just slightly here. I see it's a little flat there. This one has a little bit of a dip to it. So that was more of the, there's no cooling on it, which is why all of that happened. But I mean, looking at all the rest of the lines, it turned out really nice. All right, now here's the Carbon Fiber Extreme Black PETG from Atomic Filaments. And this looks gorgeous, really nice sheen to it. And again, this was printed on the CR-10S with a all metal hot end and a metal uh, or stainless steel or so it's a steel uh, nozzle from Micro Swiss. And looking here at the bottom, there was this one little, I don't know what here and here, that was just on the first layer. I don't know what happened there. It could have been something weird on the build plate, but, or the slicer, I don't really know, but it just looks a little funky right there. I don't know. Anyways, over the support, it all came off very easily, and sorry, it is really hard to show the black here. It's really hard to focus on it as well. But as you can see, it's a really nice uh, shine to it. Once I take a little bit of this glue stick off, the rest of that will really shine. But I do print on PEI with glue stick when I print PETG, and this came out absolutely gorgeous. All right, now here is Cheetah from Ninja Tech, and this really did not turn out as good as I wanted it to. The layers are great. The model itself is great. It is just all of the stringing in here. I don't know how to change the setting in Prusa Slicer Edition to avoid going outside the perimeters as much as possible. I need to look into how to do that and I didn't think about it until after I pulled this off the printer and I saw all how stringy it was. I was able to get most of them off but this is still a little bit of what's left. So I, I just, yeah, I need to kind of play with Prusa Slicer Edition a little bit more to get better, but all the layers filled in really nicely. It cooled well. There's none of those little drips we saw in those other ones, none of those droops or flat spots here underneath. It all came out well. The support comes off as easily as you can get it off of flexible filaments, kind of tough. But other than that, it's flexible, you know, very flexible. 
and it did print pretty fast. I think at about 40 or 45 millimeters a second. So to do all of that and still come out really well, not bad. So, but I will again, if you do actually, if you do have any tips on how to do the avoid perimeter uh, outline, the crossing, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll try and figure that out. I'll try and do that with the next time. So there you have it again, aside from the cheetah, Everything came out great. I'm really happy. I can't I have to say, I'm super happy with the i3 Mark III. It is absolutely an amazing machine. It prints really well, but on the other hand, so comparing the PTG on the CR-10S to the PLA on the i3 Mark III, these prints are almost identical. Like there is not much to go off of to be able to tell the difference. But I guarantee if I gave this to any random person out there, even someone who knows 3D printers and said, which one of these came from a $400 printer, which one of these came from an $800 printer, probably not gonna know the difference. And that all comes down to having a well-tuned printer. The CR-10S I've had for well, almost two years now, super tuned. It's taken a long time to get there, but a super tuned printer can get you really good results. So just make sure you guys do a lot of your testing, print a test model, not necessarily my coin, make your own coin. That's why I made this for me to do tests with, but make something to test with and tune your printers. Uh, it, you can get excellent results. Anybody can, you know, you don't have to be someone who does 3D printing all day, every day. You can get excellent results if you tune your machine. So a little off topic on that, but I think it was fitting just because these prints came out fantastic. I hope they did for you as well. Again, if you guys want to check out the Maker Box, there'll be a link down below and a 15% coupon. Go ahead and hit use those. Save yourself some money and every three people that subscribe end up uh, getting me a free box. So I greatly appreciate everyone that uses that uh, link and that code because again, it really does help out. That's going to be it today, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave the video a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down. Either way, talk in the comments down below, especially if you know how to fix some of my stringing issues with this uh, flexible filament. I'd love to hear from you guys, and I appreciate anyone that comments. If you guys wanna stay tuned what's going on and be notified when really cool videos come out like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon, you'll get an email notification when I upload new content, do a live stream, and that way you're one of the first ones to know what's going on. If you guys wanna help me out financially, the best thing you do is become a patron. Hit that link down below me. Donate me a dollar more, I appreciate it. And you guys can get access to my Patreon feed and my after show, which I do after almost all the new videos. All that money ends up going to help me build things and buy things for the shop, improve my content. So I appreciate everyone that helps me do that. Other ways you can help out, affiliate links, one-time donation deals, all that's down below. Use the coupon code, save yourself some money. And that'll be it, guys. So until next time, happy printing.